Hey everybody, it's Gordon. Uh, quick video tonight just to talk about finish. I was just answering a question with regards to what I do uh, with totes and knobs and it's very simple. I follow what mm, a lot of people do and that is three coats of lacquer, uh, four out steel wool in between, just super light, um, just enough to knock off boogers or anything that you don't want and you're not scrubbing the lacquer back down. Don't try and sand it down, you don't need that. But three coats of lacquer, and then I put a paste wax on top. What I do different, if maybe I do it different, I don't know, maybe you do this, but here's my tip, and that is the manufacturer will recommend that you apply a paste wax and let it dry. Um, and so here we have like a little number two. He's coated in wax, right? So if you see that in, in terms of the light, there's no sheen, no shine. It's got a really dull finish because I put it on hours ago. And what I do to my point is let it dry. Don't wax on, wax off. I think if you put it on, smear it around, wait a few minutes and then you hit it with your cotton shirt and then go ahead and go at this one with the cotton rag. This is a hard shell now. I can tell that it's dry because literally it's been hours and I just let it dry. And now I'm not going at it with a buffing wheel. I'm not going at it with any machine or anything hardcore. All I want to do is take off the thick spots, knock off the caked on pieces, and bring it to a nice even sheen. And when I'm done, I have a clear wax coating that I know is there and it's protective. And I think that's beautiful. So that's what I'm going for in terms of a, um, a finish. Let me give you some different angles there to see what's going on. And um, oh, my point is, don't rush it. Put your wax on, walk away, then take it off. I think it'll serve you better. Uh, it'll last a long time, and you can always reapply it later. There you have it. Super simple. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.